Good afternoon, everybody. I wanted everybody up, too, because after lunch, we all want to just kind of chill. And what I did say, if some of you have already heard my story last year at conference, you're welcome to take your break now, because it's going to be the same story, but it's got some changes that happened over the course of the year. But I can't even start without saying I could go on for hours and hours about Stu. <laughs> so because CTFO, Stu Finger, Steve Finger, Michael Kahn, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see if I can do it without crying. But um, you, changed, you changed my life, but now you're changing millions of lives. And I feel very gifted to be a part of it. So that's me, mom of three, grandma, legal nurse consultant the majority of my career, and absolutely loved what I did. And out of nowhere, in October of 2015, I'm plugging along in my life. I'm an entrepreneur. I work all over the country in legal work. Loved what I did. Out of nowhere, I was diagnosed with a life-threatening situation. I was told to get my affairs in order, say goodbye to the kids. I had less than 10% chance of survival. It was time to start life-saving treatment, but more likely than not, I wasn't going to survive. I made it through the beginning of treatment. I then underwent, I'm not sure if I can say this, but I'm going to, a stem cell transplant. Hopefully, Leah, that's OK. <laughs> she left. OK, good. <laughs> but it's important to understand that what happened from there and why it relates so much to CBD specifically. So what happened for my body, this is the day that everything changed too under that transplant because I then suffered where my body rejected every system of my body. So when we talk about CBD and we talk about all the health benefits, for me personally, it definitely went from head to toe, inside and out. First of all, I had respiratory failure, so I was required oxygen therapy for years. You can see here, I, I lost my hair, <laughs> I lost my eyebrows, I had cardiac failure and ended up with chest tubes. I didn't lose my spirit because I was creating some of these photographs for my goodbye, for my goodbye to my kids never thinking I'd be standing here sharing the raw, the raw testimony in front of strangers, as I did last year at conference. But leaving conference last year, I realized telling my story was really important for everyone to hear, because there is always hope. And I believe I have a higher power that's been guiding me. So I called this slideshow the faces of this particular problem I was having because we go through so many changes and we're all dealing with them. And we all deal with the problems that CTFO has dedicated now their lives to helping us with. I'm not alone. I, my story might be unique, but I'm not, certainly not alone in the things that I've suffered from. So as I went through all of this, I have, oops, I have to share, as I did last year, like you, I was on massive, I don't have an assistant here, sorry. So these were my daily, this was my day, okay? Because in order to help my central nervous system to think, my cardiovascular system for my heart, my lungs, I even lost my skin. It all fell off. I grew a beard, I couldn't walk, the pain in my hands and my feet were such that I was wheelchair bound. And when you look at some of the pictures as I age in this process, I loved hearing Steve telling me that I look young <laughs> because I certainly aged over these last couple of years. I had people that had known me my whole life. They didn't even know it was me. 
Yep, the eyes went. I went blind. I was blind for years. I had to have eye implants. I had to have someone else take me places, feed me. That was me when I met Stuart Finger. February 7, 2018. I couldn't walk. I couldn't hold a fork because my hand wouldn't close. So someone else had to care for me 24-7. As a nurse of 30 plus years, I'd never heard of CBD. I didn't know I had an endocannabinoid system in my body. I was pretty embarrassed, actually. And I was a little bit upset with my clinical team, <laughs> who never educated me on options. So I started, I researched, ended up quite by accident on the phone, or maybe not, <laughs> with Stu Finger. I had called customer service after seeing an ad that my caregiver saw online, work from home. Called the company. I had a zillion and one questions for poor customer service. I can't remember who was in the office that day. Um, but being a nurse and one with some severe issues, I had lots of questions. And I didn't believe a thing she, she said. But then Stu came. He gets on the phone. <laughs> he says, I only have a minute. Here's the owner of this company. Two hours later. <laughs> By the end of those two hours, I had learned so much. And probably the biggest thing I learned was hope. And I thank you. So I ordered product. I started on the 1500 milligram, uh, our regular, we didn't have 10X then, and the deep healing cream with emu oil on February 12th of 2018. I put the cream on my hands and my feet, put the oil under my tongue, and within 20 minutes, 20 minutes, I had a change in both my hands and my feet. And I couldn't believe it. Because I had a bedside commode, even though there was a bathroom in my bedroom. I couldn't walk to it. That night, I was able to walk. That night, I didn't have issues that I was having for years while I was attempting to sleep. That was my feeling by March. I was ready to go. I used to be a marathon runner. I used to be a tennis player. I used to be a golfer and a scuba diver. Enjoy that. <laughs> Maybe I'll join you. That was me on, in April. I'd only been on the products less than eight weeks. And I'm, a, I'm always goofy. So yeah, the tennis balls. But I had my girlfriends there videoing me playing tennis because I couldn't even believe myself. Now, I'm already into May, I'm paddle boarding on a vacation with my children and my grandchild in Virginia. I'm back in Jersey and I'm living. And in June of 2018, I was told, I no longer have that life-threatening situation. You know, that CBD was working on head to toe. My brain cells from all the medications. You know, I was so burned, I couldn't speak. I couldn't form sentences and put words together. And here I was a person who used to go out and speak. And I was devastated. And what I realized is I came off of these and was only utilizing the 1500 milligram, period. But I was thinking, wow, if this is so, doing so good, I should try some of the other products. Hair replacement. Look at this gorgeous locks. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I use the skincare. The products are absolutely amazing. And I have been able to help hundreds, if not thousands. And I would like to ask a few people who have helped me get here to stand, other than, of course, Steve, Michael and Stu, can Team Give stand up for me? Some of my team that made the commitment and the effort to get here. Thank you. 
you know, this journey, we are like a family. We are a family. I have met so many people through this journey, and some of them were just like little postage stamps on Facebook that eventually we got to speak. And the journey has changed for many other people with giving each other not only good health, but also helping people on how to do the wealth part of it. And when we're doing it together, it doesn't seem as difficult to climb that mountain. And when you're doing it together, when you do have those successes and those celebrations together, you're not alone in dealing with not only the medical part, but the mental part helps. And then the, and then the financial will follow. So this is me recently at a street fair in Red Bank, New Jersey. We have a tent, we got our t-shirts, we're dancing down the street looking for people to join our empire. It was amazing. We had a beautiful time. I have made so many wonderful friendships here. I have learned from others. So not only am I mentally and physically, I'm personally and professionally growing and feel honored to be a part of CTFO. And I will tell you here and now, I continue to get better every single day. My blood pressure is better, my sleep is better. Somebody walked up to me today and said, I heard you speak in October. How is your pain now? I'm not in any pain at all. So each and every one of you out there, if you have any second guesses about the quality or the outcomes that these products are able to achieve for people, don't. Don't doubt it one minute. And just because if one person takes something and a miracle doesn't happen overnight, help them understand to keep going. Our bodies don't get into the conditions that we have to deal with overnight. They can happen over time in years. But we now have a great, great answer to help a lot of people in both their health and definitely their wealth by being with CTFO. So I just want to again say thank you to the staff. They're amazing. I don't know who's all here from, from home office, but they do an amazing job for us to provide products that are um, of quality as well as a business model and people like Michael Swilling teaching us uh, several nights a week on how to run the business. So I say thank you to all of you and I hope my story can help each and every one of you have both hope and encouragement for your business development.